Okay, we are back here in Photopea, and we are going to learn a couple more things. Uh, so what I did was I went in and I put my good buddy Homer Simpson in here uh, as a layer. Uh, so let's go back and hide that real quick. And I traced him. So his opacity is down, right? So his opacity is at 48% so that I could trace him. And here's my trace. And then let's hide that layer of Homer. So here's my tracing, a little bit funky down here on his belly, uh, but I was going a little bit fast. So what are some things that we can do with Homer now that we have traced him? Well, a couple things that I wanna talk about here. So I'm gonna actually hide my uh, layer of tracing and I'm gonna put my opacity back up to 100% on Homer. And basically, let's say we want to recreate this image as closely as possible. So we need color, right? So if we hide Homer and turn on our trace, uh, we don't have any color. So what we can do is, again, we're going to click back on layer one, which is Homer. And we're going to come over here and we are going to find the eyedropper. So let's see if we can... Tools eyedropper. That doesn't really help us. So sometimes over here the tools come up hidden, and you gotta look around for a minute to find them. Uh, we definitely want the paint bucket tool. We're gonna be using that here in a second. Uh, but we're looking for an eyedropper, and that eyedropper is going to allow us to select color from pretty much anything. Okay, so it's hiding here under the crop tool. So we're gonna go to eyedropper. And when we go to eyedropper, we're literally gonna get like a little eyedropper. So if I click on Homer, notice how the circle pops up and then the color is yellow. And then down here to the bottom left where my cursor is, you can see that yellow is now the first color out of these two little color tiles. So by selecting the picture, uh, I now have selected the color. If I go on his arm where the color is a little bit darker, you'll notice that the color now is that sort of darker yellow. So we're going to go back to the original Homer yellow, and we are going to go back to layer two, which is our outline. We're going to turn off layer one so we can see our outline. Now that we have the yellow selected, we are going to grab that paint bucket tool. And what the paint bucket tool is going to do is it's just going to pour the paint onto the image. So I'm going to click in the area that I want to make yellow, right? So if I turn Homer back on, there we go. Okay, if I'm going to zoom in a little bit, and we're going to paint bucket in on his cheek right there. Uh, we also have this little bitty area right here that we need to paint bucket as well. So there we go. So we just paint bucketed in the same yellow that's on the original picture onto Homer's face. And as long as we have closed our lines, we should be able to simply just fill in the yellow color. Now, if our line's not filled in, then everything on the picture is going to turn yellow. Let's see if that's going to happen. All right, so no so far. There we go on his knuckle. All right, so I'm going to go back to layer one. And his little five o'clock shadow is a different color. So I'm going to go back to my eyedropper tool. I'm going to select that color, which now turns it this color. Turn him off. Go back to layer two grab my paint bucket, and I'm going to paint in his mouth. There we go. All right, I'm going to turn that layer back on, and we're going to grab this uh, blue. Oh, we forgot to paint his belly. So let's go back to, now if we go back to, if we click on our colors here, uh, we do have the ones that we've most recently used saved down here at the bottom. So I can go back and grab that yellow from here, while I'm on my paint bucket tool. There we go. And we're going to paint in his belly. Sweet. And then we're going to go back here and we're going to get the blue for his pants. So I got to go back to the eyedropper because I haven't selected that blue yet. And we're going to select that blue. And we'll go back to our paint bucket. And we're going to paint in that blue. Now, when you save your image, if you notice, if we turn off the background, uh, everything that is on the background is going to be transparent. So if there's something that's white, you still have to paint it in. So if we were to save this, his eyes and his shirt would all be transparent. So we've got to go in and we have to actually paint bucket in his shirt and his eyeballs. So if we go back here, we're just going to grab this white color 
Click OK. Make sure we're clicked on our tracing layer. So then we're going to paint bucket in his eye. Whoops, wrong color. Command Z, my best friend, or Control Z. Come on. There we go. Uh, so we need to switch those colors back to white. Paint bucket. All right, so we're going to paint in his eyes. And we're going to paint in his shirt and his sleeve and his collar. So as long as your area is completely closed off, then the paint will just fill in that area. And that's how you do it. So uh, now you know how to uh, use the eyedropper tool to grab the color from your original image. And now you also know how to use the paint bucket tool to fill in the color for that image uh, as well. So awesome. Good luck.